The Blue Bird. Every Christmas, all the other families had tables loaded with delicious food, and the streets were full of happy children holding beautiful presents. But Tiltil and Mittil were unhappy and could only watch from a distance. Oh. Uh, look at all that beautiful three-tiered cake. Have you ever seen so much icing? Oh, forget the cake. I wish I could have that charming pink dress. Oh, it's so pretty. Every Christmas, they looked on in envy because their father was only a poor carpenter and could not afford to buy them fancy presents. As they looked longingly out of the window at all the bright lights and happy families inside, they heard the creak of footsteps on the stairs. Oh, 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 it must be Mother. Quick, turn off the lights. Ah, Mother. When they opened their eyes for a quick peek, they cried out in horror. <laughs> the figure that entered through the door was not their mother at all, but a hideous witch. <laughs> Where is our mother? Don't be frightened, children. I have not come to harm you. <laughs> what then? I have come to ask for a favor. My daughter is gravely ill, and only the legendary blue bird can cure her. You must find it for me, children, now. We only have a yellow bird. You can have it if it will help, but no blue bird. No, it must be the blue bird. But why? <laughs> It is the blue bird of happiness that I seek. No other bird will do. Uh, 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 happiness? Yes. The blue bird will bring happiness to anyone who possesses it. You see? Can it truly make anyone happy? Even poor, miserable children like us? Of course, that is its purpose. Here, take my magic hat and use its powers to find the blue bird. Uh, oh, but, but how? The hat will show you the way. Good luck! <laughs> As they touched the hat, the world around them suddenly grew dark. Uh, oh, Tilti, are you there? I'm frightened. Oh. Uh, it's okay. I'm here. Take my hand. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. At that moment, the Queen of the Night materialized out of the darkness, dressed in shimmering silver robes, her cold laughter ringing in the air. Have you come into my realm of darkness to steal the bluebird? Oh, your courage is admirable. But how can two children succeed where countless great knights have failed? The true bluebird is hidden amongst thousands of imposters. Claim it if you can! <laughs> Oh, 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 there it is! The blue bird! Oh, oh, uh, no way! Uh, it isn't the real one! Looking around at all the blue birds, oh. Mittel and Tiltil realized that they all looked the same, and there was no way of telling which was the real one. Oh. <laughs> Many have tried to find the blue bird, and all have failed. They wasted their lives in a futile search until they died of old age. And so will you! <laughs> the Queen of the Night placed a large mirror before them. Look into the mirror. Make your choice now, or watch yourselves wither away and die! Oh, 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 what's happening to us? Our hair is graying! No, how do we stop this? The two children could see themselves aging in the mirror. Uh, we must get out of here now! Come on! Uh, you're right! No! How dare you run, cowards! You were to be my next sacrifice! Uh, Back! Uh. As they left the kingdom of the night, the children crossed over into the land of memory. They saw a worn couch with an elderly couple dozing on it. Uh, 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 where are we now? 
the future? Are those people us? Have grown old and died? Huh? I, I can't die yet! I still haven't tried that lovely dress I wanted! <laughs> well, I don't want to die before I've had some of that cake! <laughs> <laughs> the children began to weep loudly, not realizing that they had entered the land of memory. The sound of their sobbing woke the elderly couple. Is it morning already? I can hear the baby crying. Oh no, that can't be the baby. It must be the rooster. No, listen. Does that sound like a rooster to you, woman? What? Oh, you're right. I can hear our little grandchildren. See, like I said... Oh, uh, they're uh, Grandma and Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa, they're oh, Grandma. <laughs> oh, do you really think our children can be here now? Let's take a closer <laughs> Oh, it really is them. <laughs> the children had just been reunited with their grandparents, who had passed away years ago. The children and grandparents had a joyful reunion. The grandparents baked a delicious cake, and Mittel and Tiltil told them all about their quest for the blue bird. So you see, that is how we began our journey in search of the blue bird. Oh, do you mean that blue bird sitting on the tree branch over there? The children looked where their grandmother pointed, and there was the blue bird. Oh, there it is! What? Where? There! Let's catch it! Oh, come on, run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, children! Stay a little longer! Don't you want some more cake? <laughs> Tears filled the old woman's eyes as she saw the children chase after happiness without even looking back to say goodbye. No, oh, there's nothing to cry over. Children are always chasing after something. They have no time for old people like oh. us. Come here. Grandfather and grandmother embraced as they dissolved into the wind. <laughs> Tiltil and Mittel chased after the bluebird as fast as they could, but when it was almost within their grasp, it scattered on the wind just like their grandparents had done. Oh, 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 where did it go? No, what just happened? They couldn't see that the bluebird had faded along with their grandparents' happiness. After that, the two children journeyed on into the land of happiness, hoping to find the bluebird there. There they met a gluttonous man and a greedy woman. I am the happiest man on earth because I can have all the food I can dream of. You are a simpleton and a pig. Who needs food when you can have glamorous jewels? How can you say that? Nothing. Oh, jewels and riches are more precious than food. The two people did not truly appear particularly happy, but the children decided to ask them about the bluebird anyway. Have you, by any chance, seen the bluebird? Bluebird? Show me one and I will roast it with some nice sauce. Go ahead and leave me the feathers. I need some touches of blue for my nice hat. Uh, can you think of nothing else when you look at the bird of happiness? Think? What for? All I want to do is eat until I explode. I don't need your silly bird for that, hmm? I have no time for worthless birds. I have to find more gems and beautiful clothes to ornament myself while I'm still young and beautiful. What do you think? Do the rubies or the emeralds suit me more? Uh, 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 I don't know much about earrings. Oh. Uh, I'm almost certain the bluebird isn't here, Middle. Let's try some other place. Come on, let's try. But isn't this the land of happiness? This should be the bluebird's home. Oh, happiness? You must be lost, child. This is the land of unhappiness. What? See that sign? It used to say land of unhappiness, but we changed it. What? Shocked and disheartened by the greedy woman's words, the children reached for the witch's hat. This time, the children found themselves right where they had started, at home. Isn't this our room? 
Oh, we have been sent home without finding the bluebird. What will we do when the rich returns? Oh no, what if she turns us into frogs? I don't want to be a horrid slimy frog. Oh no. Wait, what if we paint our yellow bird blue? Maybe we can trick her. Oh, do you really think that will work? Oh. <laughs> the children ran to the cage and were amazed to see that the bird inside was not yellow at all, but oh. blue. Uh, the blue bird! Oh. Suddenly, the witch appeared out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Tell me, children, have you captured the blue bird? Honestly, we didn't actually find it. It was waiting in our home all along. Here, take it and heal your daughter's illness, witch. <laughs> Are you sure you want to give it to me? It can make you happy, children. But we are already happy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I am very grateful. You have discovered that true happiness can only be found through love, understanding, and acceptance. You will always be much happier now, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the witch vanished in a swirl of silver dust. When Tiltil and Mittel awoke the following morning, the first thing they saw was the little yellow oh. bird back in its cage. Oh. Even though Tiltil and Mittel realized it had all been a dream, they remembered the witch's words, and as they listened to the sweet songs of their own yellow bird, they felt truly happy. The Wonderful Adventures of Nils The Steadfast Tin Soldier. The Sea Turtle and the Hare. Jack the Dullard. Maya the Bee. The Giving Tree. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer Three Thousand Leagues in Search of Mother Alice in Wonderland The Selfish Giant